Hi beauties, I hope you guys are all well today. I am very, very excited to share this video with you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and preface this by, BoxyCharm never emails me about the customization for the next month and it always frustrates me. It's like once or twice in like a year, a subscription year, I'll get like an email and I'll be shocked. I'll be like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. They sent me the email this month. But it's just so sporadic, I cannot rely on it. Like Ipsy's I get every month without any fail. Boxy's always just, rough so what i did this month is i set an alarm on the 12th because that's when it opens and i said i'm gonna set an alarm and i'm gonna check it i set an alarm it went off at like 10 a.m i was doing something so i said i'll go back and look later and then i forgot and then i went back and i looked at t noon so I, I forgot for a couple hours oops i was able to do my customization option wasn't thrilled with what they had to offer if i'm being honest i think i chose like a brow uh tinted but benefit tinted brow uh mascara wand that's what I think I got, but I wasn't thrilled with the choices. However, I then went on to shop the add-on sale and let me tell you, if you guys like the Ipsy add-on sale, this one is a thousand times better. Better deals, better prices, better products in my opinion. I really was just floored at how many great products they had to offer. So I bought $80 worth of stuff, but what I got was such a great value. Honestly, I should have bought more. I, I was kind of kicking myself. Now it showed up and this box is just, this box had been, this box had been through some stuff. I mean, look at it. It's like all messed up. There's just like, it's, you look at that, it's bad. I was worried because you guys know my luck with getting palettes. I did order a couple palettes and you were like, I was, I literally opened this box and I said, oh my God, everything's broken. I'm positive it is. It was not. I'm very happy about that. I didn't get a single broken product. I was like, yay, go team. So I don't have my, my phone with me. It's charging right now. So I can't remember all the, the prices of stuff, but I really have a good grasp on what basically I paid for everything. And I know my final total was like $80 and 53 cents. So let's jump into it. Let me show you guys what I found on the sale. First thing that I added to the cart, I got three of these. Oh, that's the other thing. This sale lets you add multiple quantities of stuff. Whereas with Ipsy's, you can only do one, one item normally. If you have like multiple bags, like this past year or this past year, this past month I did, um, the same brush in both my standard and my plus bag. So I was able to get two that way, but like I, there's nowhere you can go in and say like, I want three of these or I want two of these or anything like that. And you guys know for me, like I never do anything like foundations or I just don't buy them in sets of one for whatever reason. I just am weird about that. So it's like for me to be able to add extra or like multiples of something, I was like, cool. So the first thing I got was these Becca foundations. They're the ultimate coverage 24 hour foundations in the shade linen. They had a ton of shades. This is like a $40 foundation and it has amazing reviews. I personally never tried it, but it was on sale for $6. So I bought three of them because it was $6, which I cannot pay a CoverGirl foundation in CVS. I can't pay that cheap for it. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna buy three of those. And then they also had the Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Concealer. They had those, um, which if you guys remember a couple months ago, I got that in my box. Unfortunately, because I did go in a little bit late into the sale, a lot of the colors had already sold out. So this was the lightest shade they had left. It was Swan. And it's, I think the shade lighter than the one that I actually got in my box, which seemed to be a pretty great match for me. But I figured going into winter, I could do with it, but I wasn't sure because of how light it was. I, I wound up going with just one instead of buying multiples like I normally would. And this was on sale for $9. So still really cheap. And because I had liked the, the formula so much, I decided to go ahead and buy that. Then I stumbled upon this beauty, which is the 111 Skin uh, Harley Street London NAC Y2 Pollution Defense Booster. So this has been like a big thing I've seen lately in, in skincare coming up, um, which is basically this sense of like, uh, it's some sort of a pollution protecting barrier for your skin. I think it's great. There's so much in, in the air right now, so many chemicals and stuff, and there have been for years. I think it's great to, to have skincare kind of be evolving to combat that and, and to try and help your skin um, not only like replenish it and do all that stuff, but also protect from the outside world. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna do it because I like one one skin a lot. Also, I know this is like $135 serum. So I paid $12 for him. Yeah, I'm really excited. I haven't tested him out yet, but I'm really excited to test him out. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do the next look we film that isn't Halloween related is going to be probably a you like I'm going to use some of the products that we got in this box and I definitely want to test I want to test out like the Becca foundation I want to do this particular concealer to see like if the color works and I want to use this for you guys as well so we'll do a whole little 
showcase of some of these products in the next video we film. Then I got the Moda Pro Royal and Langnickel five piece deluxe eye kit, which I've gotten in a box in the past. Um, and then I also got the Luxie Iconic set, which I've also gotten in a box in the past. Both of these were $4 and I found the more eyeshadow brushes I have, uh, the less frequently I have to wash them. So for $4, I was like, I can't pass that up. Um, I'll have them as backups. And if I need to break into them to avoid washing my brushes, I can do that. And let's let's also remember the eyeshadow brush that I added on to my Ipsy in both the bags. It was a $3 brush. Still a great price. $3 for an eyeshadow brush, awesome price. These are both great brands and the, the whole set was $4 a piece. I was like, you can't, you can't beat it. So that's why I bought those. I also got the Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow from Ciate London in the shade, what is this shade called? Ice. I'm going with, yes, it's ice. But I got the pink one. That's the first liquid eyeshadow I ever really started using. And it's one of my favorite formulas. And so when I saw that they had a different color in it, I was like, I'm gonna get it. I think he was $5 or $6, really just very cheap. So yeah, amazing, amazing prices. Literally, you can't beat it. What I was paying for this was like, if I had found any of these products at Ulta, I'd have been like, insane, insane deals. Then we have from Storybook Cosmetics, which I love the brand. I like their formulas and all their eyeshadows, but their packaging really is like kind of their selling feature. And unfortunately, I'm, it's not enough to complain about it because like my product is fine, I can use it. Unfortunately, mine did come broken. I'm sure you guys can see there, there's like a little rip in the side. It's definitely got like, it's got like this little weird groove thing, whatever, it doesn't matter. It, I don't know, I can't, my mom was like, do you think it got broken in transit? I think it was just like packaged bad or it was produced bad and it just happened to be that it got sent to me that way, but it, I don't care, whatever. They did these little mini books during uh, December of last year. And I, because December's always a Lux month and we have Lux, I wound up getting a full size palette. They got like the, the Briar Tales palette or something like that. But they did little mini ones specifically for the regular boxes um, for Boxy Charm. And this one is the Little Red Riding Hood one. And this was the one I was, I really liked. And it's just got these really beautiful like neutral shades. And then you've got this gorgeous red, which I think really, especially for like winter time is very, very bold and beautiful for holiday looks. And you've got these gorgeous two uh, shimmer shades. My dude was six bucks and I was like, how can, it's a dollar a shadow. Like, how can I not do that? So plus you get the cute packaging. So I bought that. The final two things we got are the Sweet Tooth and the Fuego palettes from Hank and Henry. Both of these were $9. And actually I think I remember the prices pretty well. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I just, <sighs> gorgeous shades. Let me take this off so you guys can really see. Gorgeous shades, no, once again, a dollar an eyeshadow cause it was $9, there's nine shadows in here. Beautiful packaging. And I really just like Hank and Henry as a brand so much. I told my mom and Nikki, it gives me very, it's like very much Jeffree Star vibes, but I just, I've never been a huge Jeffree Star fan as a person, so it's very hard for me to buy his products, even though I like everything I bought from him. I, so it's just easier for me to be like, oh yeah, look at these, same kind of vibes, great price, and I really like Hank and Henry as a brand. So I'm super excited. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do, um, especially since we're going kind of into, we are, we are fully into fall. I think I'm gonna wind up when we do the full face with like all the Becca and everything, I'm gonna probably wind up using this palette because there's a lot of really pretty oranges and reds that I think we could make a nice like fall vibe look for the beginning of November with. But I definitely will, I'll definitely showcase uh, definitely this one. Um, I may do one with the Storybook Cosmetics ones too because just be, there's a lot to work with even in those six shades. So yeah, I was blown the frick away. By, I was absolutely blown away by this sale. I couldn't believe it. I was like, this this sale honestly had me like 50 shades of effed up for a good while because I just wasn't expecting it. And I try so hard not to shop at on sales with these subscription box services because I already feel like I'm, this is like money that I'm spending every month with their customer. I'm trying so hard to be good right now as we're getting ready to move into the house. But how do you beat these prices? This to me, is an incentive to have BoxyCharm over Ipsy because the deals are so damn good for the the, the add-on sale. Like how, it's it's like having a it's like having a Sam's Club or a Costco membership. That's really how I would describe it. It's like you get such great deals because you've got you have to pay a little bit to get into the to get access to it. But then when you get access to it, you're like, okay, but I I I bought like 
$300 worth of stuff and I paid 80 bucks. How do you beat that? So yeah, I was blown away by it. If you guys have BoxyCharm, highly would recommend uh, looking at their add-on sale next time. This is, I've shopped FabFitFuns, I've shopped Ipsy's obviously. I've done it all in the past. I've really never looked at BoxyCharms and this was such a nice surprise. Um, in fact, there's a couple palettes I didn't get because I wasn't sure what I was gonna get in my box this month. And if they have them available next month, I probably will buy them because how the hell do you beat it? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you guys also have shopped the Ipsy, I mean the BoxyCharm add-on sale, let me know what you think about it because I really, I just didn't know what to expect and, and it was such a pleasant surprise though. So. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like us, subscribe. And other than that, I hope you guys are all super happy, you're safe, healthy, and you have a wonderful day with a dark, no, let me try that again. I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day, and you stay girly with a dark twist.